parts. The boundary that nothing can escape from, known as the event horizon, is what distinguishes black holes. Even though they aren't visible in the conventional sense, their existence can be assumed from the way they affect nearby materials. An accretion disk, for instance, could be formed if they were to accrete material from companion stars or the interstellar medium. When this material heats up, it emits X-rays that can be detected by instruments. The accretion disks surrounding black holes emit a great deal of light, which frequently appears blue due to Doppler shifting and X-ray emissions, despite the fact that black holes themselves are invisible. The event horizon creates a spherical area in space, while the black hole itself is a point of singularity with no volume. Light bending around the event horizon produces a bright ring surrounding a dark central region, which is how the black hole's shadow is depicted in the M87 image. The existence of black holes was later confirmed by a number of observations and discoveries in Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. Hawking radiation is the term used to describe Stephen Hawking's research on the possibility that black holes could release radiation as a result of quantum effects close to the event horizon. Roger Penrose and Carl Schwarzschild, among others, have made substantial contributions to the theory of black holes. The Schwarzschild radius, a measurement of the event horizon's size, was developed as a result of Schwarzschild's solution to Einstein's field equations.